What? Has something happened? Yes. As unusual as this may sound, numerous eyewitness reports have confirmed an active Ruin Guard presence in this area, even though this is far beyond their normal area of activity. Sergeant sent someone to find out just where these ancient machines might have come from. It appears that they simply left their ruin and marched off all of a sudden, for no clear reason. So did somebody wake them up? As I say, the reason is still unclear. We have very little intelligence at present. Moreover, the ruin in question is of the especially spooky variety. Strange noises are often heard coming from within. As such, we are not permitted to investigate until the order comes through from headquarters. In any case, the only sensible strategy in the meantime is to increase Millilith patrols. We must not let innocent civilians come to harm. That's a good point. Ruin guards are probably pretty dangerous for regular folk. Wow. Uh, I'm very grateful indeed for the offer, but it just wouldn't be worth the risk. Oh, don't worry about that. This one beats up Ruin guards for breakfast. <laughs> Ah, uh, the self-confidence of young people is an extraordinary thing. Well, if you're genuinely offering, I did see some Rune Guard footprints on the hillside. But since then I've been too busy warning passers-by to investigate myself. Footprints, eh? Interesting. We'll take the case! While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail! On behalf of the Millilith, I salute you, Traveler. You have my gratitude. I will rendezvous with you once I have finished my patrol. Anyways. I am doing... Child's Quest? Right, yes. That is what we're doing. <laughs> I have saved Child up all until this point. And Zhongli's... Um, second part. Oh, look. <sighs> this footprint is huge! It has to be the one that guy was talking about. Uh, uh I'm talking about, uh, Zhongli's dragon quest? I think? There it goes. Follow the footprints! This is what we're doing. Wow, it has huge There's feet. another one! Yep! Seems the ruin guards did come out for a walk after all. Okay. The trail of Ruin Guard footprints leads us here to. Ah! A Ruin Guard! Over there! Bye, man. There we go. You have been with me this whole time. Oh, I'm waiting too! What the heck? Well, that's one down. Right? Keep looking around. Maybe we'll find some more. Hopefully. Oh, look, another one. What? Who are you? Oh, I wasn't close enough. Hey, you! Check this out! Isn't it awesome? He kind of reminds me of Timmy. What is he wearing? I've never seen one this close before. Have you ever seen one? This is a powered down rune guard. Um, excuse me. His name is Mr. Cyclops, actually. Oh, what my sort bad. His dumb name is Ruin Guard. My bad, you. Man. Wait. Yeah, he reminds me of Timmy a lot. But. You're not Timmy. Mr. Cyclops? Aw, oh, that's cute. Wait, what? Do people seriously call him that? Yep, my brother said so. And he's the best toy seller in the whole world. It's his job to sell this kind of stuff. Uh, is Child your brother? <laughs> right now, he's at the Institute for Toy Research in Liyue. That's where Mr. Cyclops has come from. Oh dear. It's always nice to meet someone else who likes toys. So tell me, where'd you get your toy from? Must be a pretty new kind, huh? I've never seen one that can fly and talk before. Limited edition? Jealous much? Hey! <laughs> just because you get to play with Paimon all the time does not mean that Paimon's a toy! Greetings! <laughs> Have you found anything? Oh. A child? 
What, what's the situation here? We just, you know, found him. Yeah. Uh-uh. You shouldn't be out here, boy. There are killing machines in the area. It's extremely dangerous. Killing machines? You mean, ones that look like this? Yep. Precisely. And including this one. It's not moving now, but if it were to wake up, the consequences would be... You take that back! Mr. Cyclops is not a killing machine! He's one of the good guys! <sighs> Child. Um... Mr. Cyclops? <laughs> we shouldn't be talking to this guy. If he's saying mean things about Mr. Cyclops, he's definitely a bad man. Okay, you're... Got this backwards, kiddo. Uh, I'm just trying to help. Mm, let me handle this. <sighs> I've always been hopeless at dealing with children. Dude. Well then, why don't you get back to your normal job and leave us to do the babysitting? Babysitting? <laughs> <sighs> it seems I have no other choice. Very well. I will continue with my patrol. Please escort the child to somewhere safe. It's much too dangerous here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the mighty Mr. Cyclops scared off the bad guys once again! What's your name, kid? My name's Tusser. I came all the way from Snezhnaya to look for my brother in Liyue. But I'm all on my own, and I don't know where to find him. Mm-hmm. You came all the way from Snezhnaya? That would explain your strange clothes. Oh, I think this is the part where I give you this. There you go. Okay, what is it? What is it? Looks heavy. It looks like nothing to me. <laughs> what the? Mora? My brother said I should take it with me. He said, find a nice person to give this to, and they will take good care of too, sir. Where have I seen this behavior before? <laughs> Your brother makes a good point. Still, it's hard to believe you made it all this way armed with nothing but a few bags of Mora. Your family yeah. must be super rich. Paimon never knew you could make so much Mora from selling toys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need Mora. <laughs> Thanks, nice lady. All right. Now, we gotta make a pinky promise. Oh? You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, I throw you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Well, that is dark. <laughs> wow. That one nursery rhyme kind of says all you need to know about Snezhnaian culture. I guess. Well, if we weren't your babysitters before, we sure as heck are now. But where should we look for your brother? Uh, Northland Bank? Great idea! Alright, off we go! Alright! Finally, now I get to see my brother! <laughs> to explain- Oh my goodness! <laughs> that seems a little inappropriate, don't you think, sir? How can you- Relax! Once in a while can't hurt. It'll be fine. Once in a while what, child? What are you planning this time? Huh? What is he doing here? Then off goes to sir. Yay, my brother! I found you! I know that voice. Why, if it isn't my little brother too, sir. My goodness. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice surprise, too, sir. I thought it would have to wait till I return home before seeing you again. You have a little brother. Okay. How are the others? Sister Tonia and brother Anthon? Is everybody keeping well? Are you the oldest? And that would explain so much about Teaser. <laughs> they miss you a lot. Tonya prays for you every day at dinner. Wait a second. What are you doing here in Liyue, Teaser? How have I not heard anything about this? Well, what happened was, I saw a boat that looked like it was selling toys. So obviously I thought you were on board. Okay. And then, when I got off, I just kept walking and walking, and then, I found a Mr. Cyclops! Mr. Cyclops scared off a bad guy, and then I found this nice lady to help me come look for you! Tissue is child's brother? Yes, let's go there. Cool! Suddenly, Paimon doesn't feel so bad about taking Tuzer's money. 
<laughs> Too, sir, what you did was extremely dangerous. I'm so happy to see you, really, I am, but please, promise me you won't do anything like this ever again. Oh my goodness, that was... <laughs> what Pyman said was funny. <laughs> okay, I promise. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I just care about your safety, that's all. Yeah, that's pretty understandable. <laughs> if you hadn't met these nice people, things could have been a lot more dangerous for you too, sir. I hope you said a big thank you to them. Yep, I always remember my pleases and thank yous. Okay, you're adorable. <laughs> oh, so you did notice we were here. You were just ignoring us. Gotcha. The sass. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, it's always family first where I'm from. Don't take it personally. Understandable. I can completely understand that. I know we've had our differences up to now, but a few minor quibbles aside, we get on quite well, don't you think? You've got a lot of nerve, boy. <laughs> Do you mean that, or are you just keeping up appearances? <laughs> Come on, you know I'm just a pawn in all that, just doing my part. As for who wins, who loses, and how each side deals with the consequences, I prefer to leave all that up to the ones playing the game. Yeah, I definitely like child. <laughs> I'm much more interested in who wins and who loses when it comes to our little sparring matches. Okay. Mm. Sounds like you're ready to get your butt kicked again. <laughs> Paima, you didn't do anything. <laughs> You're forgetting something about me. I, Tartaglia, spend every second getting stronger. Don't expect to have it quite so easy next time. Ready whenever you are. Whoa, 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 whoa. You aren't gonna fight now, are you? <laughs> Maybe not right now. Not while my kid brother is watching. Dude. Why do you want to fight the nice lady? Are you guys enemies? The nice lady. He called me the nice lady. <laughs> no, not at all. Allow me to formally express my sincerest gratitude for taking care of my darling brother. His safety matters very much to me. Concern for your family's well-being. That I can understand. Um. So anyway, Paimon has a question. Mm -hmm. Tooster said something about you being a toy seller. What's that all about? Aren't you supposed to be one of the Fatui's harbor? Ahem, uh, yes, about that. <laughs> he does it now, does he? Shh, look. I only told him that so that he'll look up to me. In the eyes of a child, working with toys must be the best job imaginable, right? I knew it. I don't want my family to have anything to do with the Fatui's, or should I say Snezhnaya's, darker side. Mmm, okay. The older ones already know that I serve the Tsaritsa. But Tusser is still so young, and in his eyes... <sighs> As I was saying, I remain Snezhnaya's greatest expatriate toy seller, currently attached to the Liyue branch of our Institute for Toy Research. Okay... That's right! My brother's the greatest! He's Mr. Cyclops' bestest friend! Huh! <laughs> Just humor me in front of two, sir, if you would be so kind. He really loves his baby brother. Ah, uh, yes, Ekaterina. I will deal with the issue of that outstanding payment right away. Hey! Slinking off, are we? <laughs> but Master Child, would it not be a little improper to ask you to deal with debt collection? A bet is a bet, isn't it? And if you lose a bet with an agent, <laughs> well... You might as well get a little exercise out of it. Uh, okay. Are you going off to sell toys now? That's right. As much as I'd love to catch up a little longer, Tusser, duty calls. I'm sure Miss Nice Lady here will be happy to keep you company while I'm out, though. You're sticking me with babysitting. <sighs> so we still need to keep babysitting for you? Seems like it. Sure! I really like this lady. And anyway... She made a pinky promise to take good care of me. Right. Ah, well, it sounds like Tusa really likes you, and that you've already made a pinky promise to take good care of him anyway. You're getting up on me. <laughs> okay, sure. 
Then I'm in your debt. Here, take this as Tusser's entertainment fund. I want him to have a good time while he's in Liyue, so take him anywhere he wants. If need be, you may find me by the river near Qingxiu Pool. I'll see you both around. Okay. Great. Huh? What are those super colorful winged things? <laughs> They're called kites. The kids in Liyue love them. Oh, yeah. Hello there, dear. You look like you've come a very long way. A let granny guess. From what you're wearing, I would say... Snezhnaya. Yep. <laughs> That's right. How do you play with these kite things, granny? When the wind picks up, you let out the string and... Whoosh! The kite will fly into the air, up, up, and away. <laughs> wow, that's amazing! Do you have any Mr. Cyclops ones? Uh... Mr. Cyclops? I'm sorry, I... I want to fly Mr. Cyclops high into the sky so all the kids can get to know him! This kid... Well, I can do custom builds, but I'll need some amount of reference material. Will this picture do? I drew it myself. I bring it with me everywhere. Hmm. I'll manage. Still, I must warn you that custom builds can really be quite expensive. Right. Should be fine. Child was pretty generous with that entertainment fund. Um, but then again, throwing money around willy nilly is, you know, kind of irresponsible. What do you really mean, Paimon? Well, um, so, yes, technically speaking, these funds are earmarked for Tooser's entertainment. But if there's any leftover when we're done, Either way, it's time to talk prices. Well, here we go. Uh, let's go down to... Let's say 10? Oh. Right, because I didn't do so well the first time we did this. <sighs> fine, fine. I've neither the time nor energy to bargain with you at my age. <laughs> I suppose this price will do. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Granny. Worry not. Just leave it to me. For our next stop, Honey, why don't we head to one in restaurant? Me. It would be a mighty crying shame to come all the way to Leela and never try the food. True. Gotta try out some dishes. Okay, so we spent 8,000 out of 30. Hello, 5, welcome. Table for three? <sighs> sure. <sighs> this restaurant has a really choking smell. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? A choking smell? Oh, you must be referring oh. to our signature spicy chili scent. <laughs> spicy chili? But I can't eat spicy food. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, what a pity. A person who can't eat spicy food misses out on half of life's joys. Is it really that bad? My meals have to have lots and lots of sugar, and the oil has to be extra virgin vegetable oil. You're definitely a rich kid. Wow, we've got a real rich kid on our hands. <laughs> Looks like Wanmin Restaurant's dishes aren't a Tusser's taste. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Will that be all? Any more special requests? He doesn't want to lose any money. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, Chef Now? <laughs> Giving the people what they want is the very reason Wanmin Restaurant exists. If I thought for one second that I couldn't make a dish to satisfy this child's taste, I would have absolutely no business calling myself a chef ever again. Whoa, there seems to be a lot of professional pride riding on this. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll leave it to you, chef, now. We'll be eating here after all. Sure. 
But let me say this first. Special requests are going to cost you more than normal. Ah, yes, we are going to be negotiating once again. Of course, we aren't going to demand prices anywhere near as exorbitant as the likes of Lili Pavilion or Sunya Kiosk. Is it just Paimon? Or are premium custom orders in fashion lately? Still, <laughs> surely there must be a little room for negotiation, right? Oh, thousand? No way! I'm giving you five thousand. Although he doesn't seem to be in a good mood. <laughs> Hey now, Ooh. come on. I can barely cover the cost of the ingredients at that price. Okay, we'll do it again. Let's try this. <laughs> oh, you folks. Uh, let's go with this then. Any more haggling and we'll ruin the other customers' appetites. Good. <laughs> I'm not budging. Now. Please sit wherever you like. Your food will be here shortly. Right. Almost exactly like how my sister Tonya makes it. Really? But this doesn't feel right somehow. Didn't we bring Tusser here to try Leo's specialties? Right. Eh, whatever. So where do you want to go next, Tusser? I was so caught up looking for my brother when I first got here that I didn't get a good look around. The wharf? What, what is the wharf? Good idea! The hustle and bustle at the wharf is a specialty of Liyue Harbor Q. What's the wharf? Wow! This place is huge! And there's so many people! Ow, ow, ow. Are the waves here always like this? Don't they ever freeze? Oh yeah, you... Snezhnaya is like Russia, right? So it's gotta be like cold. <laughs> uh, given Liyue's climate, the area around the harbor's mouth probably never gets cold enough to freeze. Yep. Paimon is kind of the traveler's exclusive personal tour guide. But since this is a special occasion, Paimon can make an exception to help Tuzer get to know the place. Well, guess Paimon will just have to explain this Paimon style. So this harbor is like Tavat's mouth, and it's the biggest mouth you've ever seen. All the nations float their boats over the sea into the mouth. The harbor goes om nom 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 nom, and has a taste of each boat and the cargo it has on board. Okay, that's better explanation. <laughs> Lyrae Harbor rubs its big round belly in satisfaction because it's all stuffed full of delicious mora. Yes, this is all very pile style. <laughs> That's how you explain th throughput capacity? Hey, what's that big metal hook over there? I want to see. Wait, Tuzer, don't run off. <sighs> uh, he's going to listen. After all that, he wasn't even listening. I was not just said that. Ah, uh, it's a crane, Tuzer. Oh no, that's an anchor. That metal hook is huge, and it gets bigger the closer we get. <laughs> this is an anchor. Docked ships use it to hold themselves in position to stop the wind and waves from blowing them away. <sighs> an anchor. Got it. Okay. But I think I might get it mixed up with Commodore Hook. Uh. Okay. I. What's that? Commodore Hook? Is this another one of your weird toy names? My brother always sends me a really big toy for my birthday. Commodore Hook, Black Steel Jack, Iron Tony. We keep them all in our backyard. Are they as big as that anchor? Yeah, and that's why I can't bring them with me all the time. It's a shame. Wow, using Fatui funds for personal gain? To think Snezhnaya would let their harbingers do that. All for some giant toys. 
But suddenly, it doesn't seem so strange that Tuser would treat a ruin guard as a giant toy. Hmm. But my favorite has to be Mr. Cyclops. Even though I mostly came here to see my brother, the other big thing I wanted to do was play with Mr. Cyclops. Oh dear. No. No, I can just see the, the disaster. Oh, are they selling fish over there? Let's have a look. Oh, this kid is like high on hey! sugar. Quit running off! Alright. Hey, sir. I did. Don't make me spank you. Is this where they sell fish? Wow, the fish here and Leo are so small. Uh, that's small to you? Hey, whose fish are you calling small? Little kids shouldn't go around ruining others' business. He's just a curious kid. No need to get worked up. That said, these fish are actually pretty big by Paimon standards. Just how big are the ones you're used to, too, sir? Um, maybe 200 times your size? Oh. <laughs> there That's are legends crazy, in my hometown about it. It's supposed to be a super delicious fish. Oh, dear. I told my brother about it, and he went out to sea to catch one for me. A few days later, he returned with the humongous fish slung over his shoulder. Anthon and I were so happy. <laughs> Are you sure that was a fish? Paimon thinks it sounds more like some sort of leviathan. Sounds like a topic that would interest Shining. Hey, Miss Nice Lady, let's go over there to see the boats. <sighs> you sir, do not run off. What did I just say? <sighs> What's wrong, Tuser? Are you tired? You don't seem so happy. I miss my brother. Ugh. What? But we were just with him. Yeah, but for such a short time that it doesn't count. Take me to see my brother. I don't want to play anymore. <sighs> Children for you. Uh, yep. You can have all the patience in the world, but it won't help you at a time like this. What about our kite? Well, we've played with Tuser long enough, haven't we? Paimon thinks we've tried our best here. Child said that he'd be by the river near Ching Shu Pool. Why don't we look for him there? Yay! Let's go! Let's go! This kid. <laughs> <laughs> 